Now, more of Illinois Rising, presented by the Illinois Opportunity Project, the only show directly addressing the problems and solutions for Illinois. Now, from AM560, here's Dan Proft. Dan, back with Ted Dabrowski from Wirepoints.com in this edition of Rising. And, uh, Ted, the uh, Chicago mayor's race is uh, picking up pace. Bill Daly, you know, the dopey Daly, he's up with uh, his first commercial. Are you ready for this? Let's get real, Chicago. Crime and taxes are up. While fancy buildings rise inside the loop, families are being driven out of our neighborhoods every day. Bill Daly has spent his whole life in Chicago. It's in his blood. He knows Chicago only thrives when all our 77 neighborhoods thrive. Bill will put a moratorium on tax hikes to keep families in their homes. And he'll make getting guns and gangs off our streets priority number one. Bill Daly for mayor. No more excuses. High energy, that Bill Daly. I'll tell you what, he's lived in Chicago all his life, and he's decided now, you know what? He's going to get involved in the political arena. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. Bill Daly, change agent. What do you think? Well, he's got to change a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bill Daly, you, you, you like the, um, the parsing of words too? Moratorium on tax increases, not a moratorium on new taxes because Bill Daly has also said uh, recently when the gaggle of these candidates got together to, to you know, see who's the biggest socialist. Um, we have to find new revenues and everything is on the table. He mentioned casinos, commuter taxes, real estate transfer taxes among the options. Well, if you hike the transfer tax, then that would be in violation of your statement on your commercial that you're not you're putting a moratorium on tax hikes. So I don't know which is it, but I mean, you know, a fork tongued Chicago politician, why would we expect anything less? Bill Daly change agent. Bill Daly, a guy who, you know, sat around uh, after he put on his pinstripe suit uh, and got these, uh, you know, sinecures in the financial services sector, pretended to be a businessman by introducing Rom to Ronner and taking a piece of the deal. I mean, uh, selling off the uh, uh, parking meters, uh, not to mention being uh, one of the scions of this uh, dynastic family in Chicago politics. But here in 2018 into 2019, he's the change agent, 70 year old Bill Daly, son of Richard J, brother of Richard M, change agent. He's going to do it totally different. I, I think it's fascinating because what he's done in his speech is he's covered everything, right? He's, he's not going to raise property taxes. He's going to uh, increase the population to $3 million, which, which, by the way, I think is, is the right way to think about Chicago. Everything you should do should be such that you're attracting people, not chasing them away. Right. But then at the same time... Like with a commuter tax. He throws out the commuter <laughs> tax. Well, that's, I think, the, uh, the ultimate thing. Uh, if, you, if you're losing your... You know, he, he mentions that you've lost 400,000 African Americans uh, out of Chicago. If you start losing your suburban classes coming to work inside the loop, watch out. Or, or I mean, how uh, important is tourism to the city? And it's not just conventions. It's also people coming in to see a show or to go out to dinner and... Uh, as the Tribune rightly pointed out in their editorial, however anemic it was, as typical, no matter where they live, people who work in Chicago already contribute tax revenue via their purchases, parking, and parking taxes, and other uh, uh, spending. Let's not chase anyone away. Right. If you're not growing, you're dying. There's no question about that. But what are these guys saying? It's it's uh, stringing together bromides. If only we could uh, turn those bromides into uh, currency to pay unfunded liabilities or to uh, uh, provide tax relief. Well, I, th I think a big issue, too, is, uh, and you know, this was covered in a, in a different article I read, people are nickel and dimed in Chicago across so many different taxes. Right now you've got the Netflix streaming tax and all those kind yeah. of things, and they're sick of it. And so you know, what he's saying is I'm not going to raise your property taxes, but you know, I'm going to find a whole new set of, of taxes to, 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 to hit you with. And uh, that's going to take people off just as much. What you need to hear out of his mouth is, here are the reforms I'm going to make, and here's what I'm going to push Springfield on. Uh, you know, Rahm did it his first year. He actually went to Springfield, something unheard of. He went to the state house and said, give me 401Ks. You know, let's freeze colas or reduce colas. And he sounded like the bold guy we thought we were going to get. And, of course, that changed. But uh, if Daly really wants to sound like he's different, he'd have to do that, too. He's not going to do it. And people don't buy the rap. People don't buy the rap to stay in Illinois generally. 
to stay in Chicagoland specifically. We had another uh, story this week, Alliance Steel moving out of Bedford Park to Gary, Indiana. I mean, it's just, you know, you think I need to be close to Chicago. Uh, I need to be near this transportation hub. And you can do it from northwest Indiana. Or I think, in it, well, that's one option. In addition to that, people are recognizing in this digital age, increasingly digital age, eh, the net net of being in Chicago or even in the Chicagoland area. We can do it another way. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, there's a lot of reasons why people love staying in, and we all know those reasons. Yeah. Right? It's, uh, it's just amazing. But at the, at the margin, we're going to start losing more people. And at the margin, there's going to be people who don't come in. And when you put those two together, the margin, marginally uh, people leaving and at the margin people co- uh, not coming in, it adds up. And, and also the... And that's uh, the tax base, by the way. Yeah, right. That's the, the tax base. The relative ho- er, earning... The people. The relative skill sets and earning uh, power of those individuals. I mean, we know from... Uh, I think it was the 2016 uh, out migration numbers. Maybe it was 2017, but the spread: people moving in, fifty thousand dollar household income; people moving out, seventy thousand dollar. The biggest spread in the nation, too. So it's not just the aggregate number of people net leaving, which is a big issue. It's also the relative wealth disparity of who's leaving and who's coming in. Yeah, and it all adds up. 